All right, as requested, we're doing the meatloaf a la mom. It comes with roasted root vegetables and Tom gravy. All right, says, hello, Tom gravy. Comforting, herbaceous, and ready in a flash, this gravy. This gravy is just what mama ordered. Just what the mama ordered. Okay, it comes with garlic, thyme, russet potato, ground beef, flour, shallot, baby carrots, panko breadcrumbs, ketchup, and beef stock concentrate. Our starting strong tip is make sure, or make sure to start stirring the flour as soon as it goes in the pan. This will help eliminate any lumps or clumps in the finished gravy. We're gonna need a grater, a medium bowl, a peeler, baking sheet, olive oil, butter, and a medium pan. There's the ingredients. In the first step, we're gonna adjust the right to the middle position, which I've already done. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Sorry about all the noise. I'm sorry, I'm unpacking the ingredients. Tony's taking the ingredients out of the... You don't realize how loud something is until you hear it on the on TV. It's crazy. You don't think it's that loud in person, but... Um, and no, I'm not fussing. <laughs> she is. Um, okay, 450 degrees. I already did that. Wash and dry all the produce. Um, half and peel the shallot. Grate one half with a grater into a medium bowl. Mince other half and set aside. Minced garlic, strip thyme leaves from stems, roughly chop half the carrots lengthwise. Sorry, my throat is really sore. Peel potato, then cut into thin sticks like french fries. I'm going to choose to not peel the potato, because I like my roasted potatoes with the peel. So, I'm going to show you the ingredients that came with it. This is one big potato. There's that big old potato. We have the baby, and these are actually baby carrots. When you buy baby carrots at the store, those aren't baby carrots. Those are just peeled and chopped up carrots. Um, pink up breadcrumbs, garlic, shallot, thyme. Um, that's the wheat flour. Wheat flour, beef concentrate. I think it said, and ketchup. And then there's the 85 lean, 85 15 lean green green beef ground beef <laughs> if it's so, green beef don't use it no that's gross so we're gonna get these vegetables chopped up and we'll be right back okay we've minced our garlic taking care of the thyme and number two it says we're gonna roast the vegetables we're gonna toss the carrots with a drizzle of olive oil and spread them on on one half of the baking pan Spread the potatoes out on the other half of the baking pan. We're going to season with salt and pepper. So I already drizzled the potatoes. I'm going to season. And it says we're going to roast these in the oven until tender and browned. 20 to 25 minutes total. And we're gonna add more ingredients after seven minutes. So let's get this pepper on here. Get some more on the carrots. I'm finding that with most of the Hello Fresh meals, you're going to want have olive oil in your cabinet which we always do but just keep that in mind if that's not something you normally keep on hand don't worry I am going to toss that one big potato y'all this is half of a sheet pan with one tater
put that in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and in the next step it says make meatloafs okay to bowl that has a grated shallot we're gonna add a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs ground beef garlic half the time salt and pepper we're gonna gently combine it with our hands and then shape the mixture into two um, two one inch tall loaves because that's what I'm gonna do right now all right so we're on to step four it says once Veggies have roasted seven minutes. Remove the sheet from the oven. Give the veggies a toss. Place meat loaves on same sheet. Now, it did say that you could use another sheet if yours is too full. So, then brush tops of loaf with one tablespoon ketchup. They sent more ketchup than we needed. I return sheet to oven and continue roasting until meat loaves are cooked through that's 15 to 18 minutes um, or more if your sheet is crowded you can add the meat loaves to a second sheet so it's probably what we're gonna have to do yeah now I'm gonna shape these loaves sorry about getting you sick there I'm guessing that's around an inch thick yeah okay we're gonna do ours on a second sheet because on a sheet brush them with some ketchup and we'll be back alrighty we're on step number five that's make gravy melt one half uh, tablespoon butter in a medium pan over medium heat add minced shallot and remaining time cook tossing until softened three to four minutes sprinkle flour in the pan stirring vigorously to combine whisk in stock concentrate and one half cup water bring to a simmer and let bubble until thick and saucy that's three to four minutes season with salt and pepper which is what amy is doing here yeah and our other half of onion fell apart so it wasn't able to get minced yeah sorry about that that was my bad when i was grating it it kind of exploded on me What's well, no big deal. All right, here is our Tom gravy. Pretty much done. I'm gonna take this off the heat. We got about five more minutes left before we to check to see if the meatloaf is done. So, we will be back in a minute. All right, that's what it looks like when it is done. There's the gravy, because we decided we wanted ours on the side. I would like for the potatoes to have been more done, but we went ahead and just pulled them anyway. So there's a taste yummy it. looking bite. I think I'll taste it first with taco meatloaf. Really? No. The thyme is definitely fresh. Keep that in mind. Fresh time is a lot uh, fresher. <laughs> so let's try a little bite with the gravy. It's actually not bad with the gravy. I don't know if I'd want the gravy again, but I mean, again, the time is so strong that. Uh, think we might have added a little much but I mean it's good it definitely is not gonna bother to try the potatoes right now or the carrots because <laughs> we all know what potatoes and carrots taste like so I mean it's it's a good meal okay so again there is mama's meat or meatloaf a la mom by HelloFresh if you want to try HelloFresh our code is down or our link is down below You'll get $40 off your first order, and we'll get $20 in return. So, give them a try. Tell us what you think. 
and we'll see you next time. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.